Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on permutation and combination. In this video, we'll be looking at cyclic permutation. Cyclic permutation is the arrangement of objects around a circular object. There are two cases of arranging objects around a circular object. We have case one, arranging around a circular object that cannot be turned around. Uh, for instance, we can have a table can also have a circular floor, we can have a circular pond, and so on, where there is need to arrange objects around them. So permutation of n objects around such circular object will be n minus 1 factorial. Why n minus 1 factorial? You know the circular object does not have an edge. It does not have the beginning, it does not have an end. We have to position one object to make it at the starting and the end point. So that's why we have n minus 1 factorial. Then case 2, arranging round a circular object that can be turned around. We talk of rings, we talk of thread and other similar materials that can be turned around. So permutations of n object round such circular object is going to be n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. Since it can be turned around, so we divide the solution by 2. So this is the explanation for cyclic permutation. We can then go ahead to solve some problems. Problem 1. In a board meeting comprising of 9 board members, how many ways can they be seated around a circular table? We told us initially that the number of ways is going to be n minus 1 factorial, where our n is 9. The clear explanation is this picture. We have a 9 seats arranged around this table. We have marked this one as red so that we position this red to serve as an edge to this circular table where the remaining eight will be arranged around the table, having this red chair as the beginning of the table. So that we have nine minus one, which is eight factorial. We said we are positioning one. That is to say, one of the board members will be seated first. And there's only one way of doing that. So, the rest now will be arranged around this. One way of doing that is if you pick one person and use the person as an edge, there's no need for you to consider that person again in the remaining arrangement. The only way of sitting that one person, since there is one taking one seat, is one factorial, which is one, so we are looking at, there's no need for us to multiply the 8 factorial by 1. So we just go straight to have the remaining members to be arranged as 8 factorial. And that gives 40,320 ways of arranging 9 board members around a circular table. So that's all for problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem two, how many ways can 10 identical bits of different colors be threaded to make a wristband or bracelet? So in our solution again, we said this is the type of permutation of arranging 10 bits of different colors around a thread or a ring. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, this is the second case since this can be turned around when you turn it when you turn it to the other side this will still remain but this one will turn to this side so the permutation or the number of ways will be n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 and we have 10 bits here so our n is 10 so the demonstration is we have the ring or the thread we then have the 10 bits 
we use one to position at one point to make it as the beginning or edge of the circular ring we are going to then arrange the remaining nine bits round it so the number of ways of positioning this one bead that is the first bead that we are going to choose to form the edge it's only one factorial then the number of ways of arranging the remaining ones is going to be 10 minus 1 factorial over 2 we are dividing by 2 because they can be turned around it can be turned over over and over so we are going to have this as 9 factorial over 2 and that gives 181,440 ways of arranging 10 identical bits of different color round a circular ring to make a wrist band. And that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please join us in our next video on permutation and combination. Until we come your way again, goodbye.